So one final thing we can do with this bar chart is we can push all the bars to the bottom of the SVG area so that the bars grow upwards rather than downwards because at the moment it kind of looks upside down. Now when we set the Y coordinate of these bars, what we're actually setting is this top left corner right here. So we think about what we want that position to be at. So the first thing we need to do is we need to push it all the way down. And to do that, we would give it a Y attribute of the height of the SVG area, since a positive Y means pushing downwards. So that would make the top of the bar down here. And then what we need to do is we need to push the bar up by the same amount as the height of the bar so that the bottom of the bar is at the bottom of the SVG area. And if you read the description, it, I think it explains it a lot better. And so what we need to do is firstly, we need to do is we need to push it downwards by the height of the SVG area, which is provided by H right here. So now all the bars will be like down at the bottom. I haven't finished it yet, so that's why it's looking kind of weird. But all the bars will be like down at the bottom here. And you can't see it right now because they've just been pushed out. And what we need to do now is we need to push it back up by the same amount as the height of the bar. Now, it says here that we can calculate the height of the bar when we take in the D right here as part of the callback function by doing 3 times D. So we can just take away 3 times D and that's pushed the bar back up by just the right amount so that the bottom of the bar is at the bottom of the SVG area right here. And now it's actually looking like a proper bar chart. So that should be all we need to do. So I'm just going to run the test right now. And yeah, that's perfect.